The primary goal for the fellowship was really to get fellows trained in both solving real problems, but solving problems with real impact. And so the projects were designed to not only train the fellows, but also get them excited and motivated about areas of social good. There are a lot of new and exciting things this year. We've got a bigger class of fellows. We went from 36 to 48. The kinds of problems we're solving require diverse expertise, and no single person has all of those skills. So the way we put teams together was really hoping that all these people would come together and really effectively solve that problem. Before the fellowship, I was uh, the head of analytics at an education technology startup. I was looking for data science opportunities in the social good sector. I was working for the Ministry of Housing back there in Colombia. It was very exciting to know how to apply uh, machine learning and data science tools. I'm from Gainesville, Florida, and I work for the Florida Department of Health. I realized that in order to make an impact in health, you needed data. And I'm very optimistic about being able to apply the tools and the methods I've learned this summer to both my job and my studies. I'm a grad student at Duke studying statistics. I think we're all finding like sub-problems that we like working on, and then we come back and figure out how we can put our ideas together. I'm an applied economist. I work at the Grattan Institute in Melbourne. So my boss heard about it and he said, Jim, I, th I think you'd be great for this. It just sounded like a really great opportunity to work with people who are not my regular colleagues. It's a pretty cool mixture between complicated math, like computer science, and real human beings. And I'm looking forward to returning to Mexico trying to apply it. the things I learned here. <laughs> Another set of people that are critical for this program to succeed are mentors or project leaders. My name is Ben Uas, I'm from Baltimore. I have my own consulting company in data science. I've been doing that for about 15 years. I've been amazed at how well they work as a team. You know, throwing type A kids all in one team together, they're all super achievers and they all have a little competitive streak, but they work really well as a team. I work with GE Healthcare and an engineering consulting firm. They're moving so quickly. As soon as I go ahead and contribute to one project, uh, the other project has already moved ahead and I need to catch up. So I could offer value in terms of helping them communicate their findings to a broader audience and to help them formulate the problems. There are three reasons why nonprofits and governments today don't use data effectively. One, they don't have access to the people who can help them do this work. Two, they don't really know what can be done. They don't have examples uh, of what can be done. Three, even if they had the people and some idea what can be done, they don't have any tools that they can start working with that are customized to their needs. So what the fellowship is doing is filling all three needs. We have so many different people with so many different approaches. Like rarely in a job would you have a psychologist working next to a computer scientist and a geologist. What excites me is being able to give more information to consumers and the fact that we're doing the code open source. And if we can help Chicago do this, it becomes a template for everybody else to do the same kind of thing. And so it's really great to see that community building, and that's what we really need in the long term, is the fellowship really seeding a larger community that wants to use data to help society in general.